Yeah, some of these um, LSU practice clips that we've uploaded, I mean, they're just the gift that keeps on giving because there's still such a wealth of information, such a wealth of, of information that we're getting just from studying the damn things. And, um, <clears throat> you know, things popping out left and right and left and right and center. So if you watch the film... Um, don't just watch it once. You should watch it multiple times if you're really an LSU diehard because I see new things every time popping out. And I'm like, oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, wow. They're in, they're all in knee braces, of course, like we've been seeing. But it's just kind of crazy to see that they're still doing it. You know, like everybody is... You know, Jaden Daniels is ripped as hell. You know, there's all these little... You know, especially the dialogue that was going on. There was a lot of swearing from the coaches. Almost like it was by <clears throat> manufactured design. Like, you heard a lot of, What in the fuck is that? What in the fuck you? That's bullshit. Get out of the fucking... Like, you know, you heard a lot of, This is fucking LSU. What are we fucking... You know, like, you heard a lot of intense swearing. And so I'm wondering... It seemed really forced. It was strange. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what. It, I don't. I don't know whether that was like Kelly's like swearing them today, <laughs> getting their faces. Um, I don't think so, really. But who, who knows? More, maybe it was more just we need some intensity out there, guys, and so that's kind of how it manifested. But either way, <clears throat> you know what? What really, as we said in our first video that we just posted, it really astounded me was how many guys. How many freshmen, like, physically just just fit? And how much the strength and conditioning program has really been popping? I mean, there's some guys who came into the program, and I thought, well, they'll, they'll need a, a year to physically develop. They'll need a year to physically develop. This guy will need a year. Like, some of these guys have done it in months. And I'm and sure they'll have to athletically develop to follow that to, to marry that with with what they've done physically this offseason with Jake Flint. But my God, seeing you know Jeremiah Hughes dwarfing a few of the receivers, and and by his measurables he's not the, the tallest you know or the biggest, but he's become absolutely ripped. Ryan Yates. He's not like, you know, absolutely walking around with 500 pound, you know, muscles, but he's absolutely just ripped, absolutely just thick, and just lengthy and just athletically long, just really impressive. And then Jackson Howard. Jackson Howard, who we were able to stand next to and meet, and we're, when we took the photo with Jackson, we were trying to, to, to show how much taller he was than us and we did we got the angle off we were kind of like hey jackson we totally got the angle off and um trying totally trying to show how how big he is how tall this dude is he is absolutely a skyscraper jackson out and um he, he 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 fits out there too like in the torso the torso area i it's that that's the most that's the area that everyone overlooks. They're like, oh, well, they're tall, they're long. But it's like, yeah, but are they thick around the waist? Because that's where so much of the violence, so much of the impact is absorbed. And that's a lot of, uh, that's, that's where I would absolutely go at defensive linemen or offensive linemen is around that torso. I would be like, okay, I'm going to literally throw them out of my way by using their torso against them, their weak ass little torso, their weak ass waist, their weak ass, you know, ab abdomen region. I'm not even kidding, that sounds hilarious, it sounds ridiculous, but anyone who plays football knows what the hell I'm talking about. It's kind of strange, but if they have a thick just brick house torso, you can't you can't wrap it up. You can't do it like you can't do it freely. You can't do it like with gusto. You have to really work for it to get that dude to the ground. You have to really struggle to get past that guy, shed off his blocks. You don't want to be dealing with that. And so when you see 
how just ripped their upper body, how toned, how just absolutely, they just look healthy. They just look like they're eating right. They look like they're, they're feeling good. Jake Flint, nutrition staff, they're, they're doing an unbelievable job. Matt Frakes, killing it with nutrition. I just love what I'm seeing. We're going to be filming some more. We're going to be asking, showing you more and more thoughts from what we think of spring practice. And um, we've we got a flight to catch.